In the shadowy world of military research and development, few projects have captured the public's imagination quite like the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's DARPA Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical Systems Chime M's program. Launched in 2006, this ambitious endeavor sought to blur the line between man and machine, creating a new breed of insect based surveillance platforms that could infiltrate enemy territory with unprecedented stealth and precision. At the heart of the HIMEMS program was the concept of the cyborg insect, living creatures that would be outfitted with miniaturized electronic components and sensors, allowing them to be remotely controlled and directed by human operators. The goal, as DARPA program manager Dr. Amit Lal explained, was to develop these insect cyborgs to the point where they could be maneuvered to within just five meters of a designated target, located up to 100 meters away, and transmit valuable intelligence back to their handlers. To achieve this ambitious objective, DARPA enlisted the expertise of researchers from across the United States, including teams from the University of Michigan and Cornell University. The initial focus was on integrating microelectromechanical systems, MEMS, into the early developmental stages of various insect species, such as beetles, moths, and hornworms. The process involved surgically implanting the MIMES components, which could include miniature cameras, microphones, chemical sensors, and even remote control mechanisms directly into the insects during their pupil or larval stages. The idea was that as the insects underwent metamorphosis, the MIMES devices would become seamlessly integrated into their biology allowing for a high degree of control and functionality. One of the early breakthroughs came in 2008, when a team from the University of Michigan demonstrated a cyborg unicorn beetle at an academic conference in Tucson, Arizona. This remarkable insect was able to take off, land, turn, left or right, and perform other flight behaviors, all under the direction of of its electronic implants. Meanwhile, researchers at Cornell University reported success in implanting electronic probes into the brains and muscle tissues of tobacco hornworms during the pupil stage, paving the way for more advanced control and sensory capabilities. The potential applications of these insect drones were vast and unsettling. Outfitted with chemical sensors, they could be used to detect traces of explosives in remote buildings or caves. Equipped with cameras and microphones, they could provide valuable reconnaissance, revealing whether a structure was occupied and recording sensitive conversations. The vision of the HI MEMS program was to create swarms of these insect cyborgs, each with a variety of embedded sensors that could penetrate enemy territory and gather intelligence far beyond the capabilities of human soldiers. The sheer scale and autonomy of these insect machine hybrids was a tantalizing prospect for military strategists. However, the HI MEMS program was not without its challenges. Early attempts to control the insects such as a project involving wasps, had failed when the creatures simply flew off to feed and mate, breaking free of their human handlers. The researchers also had to grapple with issues of tissue integration, power supply, and the overall reliability of the MEMS insect interface. Despite these obstacles, DARPA remained committed to the HI MEMS vision, outlining a multi-phase plan that included the capture and containment of insects from around the world, the integration of MEMS technology at the genetic level, and the eventual deployment of remote-controlled tethered insects in combat simulations. As DARPA's program manager Dr. Lal explained, the key to the success of the HI MEMS program lay in the agency's ability to overcome the inherent challenges of working with living organisms. The renewed tissue growth around the MEMS will tend to heal and form a reliable and stable tissue machine interface. At least in theory, when the larva goes through metamorphosis and reorganizes its nervous system, 
it will integrate itself with the circuit in such a way that humans can transmit signals to the chip and control the insect's locomotion. The HI MEMS program also built upon DARPA's previous experience with cyborg development, including the agency's Cyborg Shark project, which was announced at the 2006 Ocean Sciences meeting in Honolulu, Hawaii. While the earlier Cybug project involving wasps had failed, the researchers were determined to learn from their mistakes and develop more reliable and controllable insect-machine hybrids. One of the key factors that drove DARPA's interest in the HI MEMS program was the potential for these insect cyborgs to perform reconnaissance and surveillance missions in areas that were inaccessible or too dangerous for human soldiers. As the search results note, the agency's goal was to create a system where the insect cyborgs could be maneuvered to within just five meters of a target, located up to 100 meters away, and transmit valuable intelligence back to their handlers. This vision of insect-based reconnaissance was not without precedent in the world of military research. In the 1970s, the CIA had explored the use of Acoustic Kitty, a cat with implanted microphones and transmitters that was intended to eavesdrop on Soviet conversations. While that project ultimately failed, the HI MEMS program represented a more sophisticated and technologically advanced approach to the same basic concept. As the HI MEMS program progressed, DARPA's researchers faced a number of significant challenges. One of the most pressing issues was the need to ensure the long-term stability and reliability of the MEMS insect interface. As Dr. Lal noted, the renewed tissue growth around the MEMS will tend to heal and form a reliable and stable tissue machine interface, at least in theory, when the larva goes through metamorphosis and reorganizes its nervous system, it will integrate itself with the circuit in such a way that humans can transmit signals to the chip and control the insect's locomotion. Another key challenge was the development of effective control mechanisms for the insect cyborgs. While the early demonstrations of the University of Michigan's cyborg unicorn beetle were promising, the researchers still needed to refine the remote control systems and ensure that the insects could be reliably directed to their targets. To address these challenges, DARPA's Chai MEMS program pursued a multi-pronged approach, exploring a range of control methods, including GPS, radio frequency, RF, and even ultrasonic signals. The agency also invested in research into advanced materials and fabrication processes with the goal of creating MEMS components that could seamlessly integrate with the insect's biology. Despite the technical hurdles, DARPA remained committed to the HI MEMS program, recognizing the immense potential of these insect cyborgs for military and intelligence applications. As one DARPA spokesperson noted, the vision of high MEMS insect swarms with various sorts of different embedded MEMS sensors, like video cameras, audio microphones, and chemical sniffers, could penetrate enemy territory in swarms. The HI MEMS swarms could then perform reconnaissance missions beyond the capabilities of bulky human soldiers. The HI MEMS program also represented a broader shift in DARPA's research priorities, as the agency sought to leverage emerging technologies like MEMS and biotechnology to create novel military capabilities. As the search results indicate, DARPA's charter is to pursue radical innovation in support of national security, and the HE MEMS program was very much in line with this mandate. In the years since the HI MEMS program was launched, DARPA has continued to explore the use of biological systems for military applications. The agency's Advanced Plant Technologies APT program, for example, is investigating the use of genetically modified plants to detect chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats. While the ultimate fate of the HI MEMS program remains unclear, the project's legacy continues to resonate in the public imagination. The idea of cyborg insects serving as military reconnaissance platforms has captured the attention of science fiction writers and futurists who have speculated about the ethical and societal implications of such technology. As one commentator noted, 
Insect drones kitted out with video cameras could reveal whether a building is occupied and whether those inside are while those with microphones could record sensitive conversations, becoming bugs that literally bugged you. This vision of a future where insects are transformed into surveillance tools has raised concerns about privacy, autonomy, and the blurring of the line between the natural and the artificial. Ultimately, the HI MEMS program stands as a testament to DARPA's relentless pursuit of technological superiority, even in the most unconventional realms. The agency's willingness to invest in high-risk, high-reward research has produced a range of groundbreaking innovations, from the internet to stealth technology. While the HI MEMS project may never have reached its full potential, it serves as a reminder of the agency's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the name of national security.